We're at the cafeteria for her Father's Day. Yeah, I see something bright. Oh, yeah. sure. uh, I mean, there's lots of here picnic areas and people run. We can have a picnic, Delicia. Yeah, no. Bring An and ants are on the ground. Oh. Does it all sit on a bench then? And that's not a picnic. Well, you need to improvise. Yeah, but we could take Addy here. Or Dejan, he'd like to run around. I think this is where I'm going to ride my bike. He might be too cool for that now. That's right. He's Mr. Yeah. Mr. Cool now. All the all the green. I know. It's a nice park. See, this is what our backyard used to look like. Or not. Today is a new day. Um, this is going to be part of my blog. So, we're going to see some activity before this part, but that's beside the point. I look like plain Jane over here. Here, not looking the best, but that's alright. Um, I'm going to be getting it washed tomorrow um but so I was just sitting here watching YouTube videos um let me see if I can show it. yeah watching YouTube videos and stuff but I just wanted to get out here really quick to kind of <coughs> vent a little bit uh, so my um so over the weekend I'm gonna tell y'all backstory first but so over the weekend one of my friends uh posted a GoFundMe page now you know that would be fine or whatever but I had originally thought of this idea and like wanted to do it as a nice thing to surprise her for college. I'm not going to say names or whatever, but not that y'all probably know who it is, but just in case anybody I know watches this. But um, so I was going to surprise her and do it, make it go for me page. And, uh, um, then I, me and my boyfriend were both making it, you know, he was going to help me. And so I was like, you know, I want to tell her, I don't want it to be a surprise because I know how she gets about certain things. So I told her and at first we kind of said it jokingly and passing or whatever, and she didn't she didn't sound like she thought that was a great idea but then I officially told her 
that's what we planned on doing and so then she wanted to hear the summary now you want people to you know you want people to donate you don't want to sound like a robot so dry so whatever you want them to kind of the heartstrings to tug a little bit um so when i told her <coughs> she didn't really like the idea she didn't really like the sound of that she didn't want to be in that sort of light but in that sort of light and i was like you know we were gonna do it it's gonna be about you but we're the ones doing the page and I should have listened to my boyfriend and left it a surprise but now I know either go forward with my idea or don't come with it up with an idea for friends or whatever I don't know and so basically she was like you know what don't do it don't do it um this is stupid whatever just like tell us don't do it and we both kind of thought, we never told each other this, me and my boyfriend, but we both were kind of thinking um, we should still go along with it, but we never did. So s fast forward, Saturday, um, this past Saturday, the 17th, uh, I go on Facebook at night, like, in, like late at night, and I see her and her friend have shared this GoFundMe page about her and um she had her own little summary um written up but she used like a part of our summary at the end and it just really hurt my feelings like that's the best way i can kind of describe it is hurting my feelings sorry gotta readjust um But yeah, it hurt my feelings. At first I was like, wow, like really? And I teared up a little bit. Got, I mean, I'm still kind of upset when I think about it. But, um, I mean, I talked about it with my boyfriend. I don't really, I think he's just like done talking about it. But I don't know, when, I, when things happen and they bother me, I like talk about it forever, I guess. And... To make matters worse, we, me and my friend talked on Thursday and not once did she say, you know what girl, um, I'm just do the idea on my own, I'm gonna have my other friend post about it, um, and that be that, I don't think I would feel any better about it, but at least I would have known instead of seeing it on Facebook and being kind of surprised by it, like, that really just hurt my feelings and then I talked about it with my other friend but she seemed like she's staying neutral or something I don't know but she the friend who did the who didn't like the GoFundMe page who made the GoFundMe page or whatever on her own she lied to my friend our other friend and said that she was okay with the idea that she was you know cool with it she liked it but that's not what she told me and my boyfriend she was not really enthusiastic about it but I don't know I just kind of want to talk it out and say it out loud and since I don't know I don't really have too many other people to talk about it with and she hasn't called me to say anything because I feel like she knows she was kind of bogus for that. But that's whatever. Eventually, I guess we'll talk. I don't know. But yeah, I just was kind of feeling sad. And I don't know, it really bothered me. Every time I think about it, I get upset. And then to make matters worse, I go on Twitter. I see it. Then I see other people posting it on Facebook. It's like I can't get away from it. It's kind of irritating, but I'll let you guys go. I just want to talk. I don't know if y'all even listen to this, but if y'all do, thanks. Um, I'll catch y'all later. Hey, y'all. It's the next day. Um, today, I went to get my hair washed. Uh-oh. That's the microphone. Okay. So, today, I went to get my hair washed, and... um. I didn't get it styled, I just got it washed, I wanted it washed, 
um because it was smelling you know like hair does scalps do um <clears throat> but yeah so that's about all i did tomorrow i mean tomorrow i did today but uh so yesterday i was telling all about my friend and today she sent me a long message and i'm not gonna like go over everything because it was pretty long but um basically i still think she doesn't get where i'm coming from but i'm gonna try to move on from it and not let it bug me because i like i said i'm gonna see it all over facebook all over twitter and stuff like that so um <clears throat> So, yeah, I'm going to do my best to get better at dealing with it because she doesn't understand and I can't make her understand. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I always say I'm going to stick to myself and stuff like that, but I think I just like having people to talk to in my life. But... <laughs> I don't know I just feel like I want to distance myself from a lot of time from everybody but like I don't know I just feel like I kind of saw her true colors and this time it was a situation I was involved in whereas in other situations I'm not I'm, like involved in like it's not about me or something or anything to do with me but <coughs> I don't want to talk your ears off about it so like I said, I'm going to try to move on and um, deal with it in my own time, my own way. Uh, but so by doing that, tomorrow I plan on starting back up going to the gym because I... Hold on. <coughs> because I have been neglecting the gym and they charge me $40 to use the gym. I go to the YMCA and I'm like, I'm giving them this money. I need to go. I said it every time, but it's really been a long time since I've been to the gym and I didn't lose that one pound for nothing. I don't know how I lost it, but I lost a pound, so I'm happy because ouch my back because <clears throat> I don't mind saying my weight um, on here plus I might be able like I want to look back maybe and see um so I was 140 but now when I last went to the doctor last week I was 139.6 so I was super happy because I thought I could just I thought I couldn't go down I was always fluctuating between 140 and 141 plus sometime so I was super excited um but but uh so yeah tomorrow I'm going to the gym and after I plan on going to Dunkin Donuts um Dunkin Donuts and then back home because they have some sweet sweet steaks thing going on or whatever you take a picture with the filter there and you could be entered to win if you send them something on the filter the picture of you with the filter through snapchat and so I guess I'll do that I don't think I win but it doesn't hurt to try I'm usually pretty lucky, some like in a couple of different situations. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna wake up with a new, better, <clears throat> positive attitude, and you know, try and move on. Like I said, I don't wanna dwell on anything. I don't wanna stay hurting. So I'm gonna deal with it in my own time and wake up with a better positive attitude tomorrow so I'm gonna try and show y'all my gym 
Um, I can't show y'all the workout, but I'm gonna try and show y'all my gym. Um, but uh, so that'll be tomorrow, the 21st, first day of summer, you guys. Even though it's been feeling like summer for a while, but yeah, officially first day of summer. So. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks for being a listening ear. If you listen to all of my chit chat about my situation. See you. So I'm finally back at the gym. I uh, haven't been in so long. So I know my legs might be a little sore. But I usually start off on the bike. The stationary bike. with it only moves your legs. And... Um, then I go on the track and walk a little bit sometimes. Then I go on this machine over here. I don't know if I can see it. But I'll show you before I leave the machines I use. But I need to get started before the bus comes back to get me. So I'll catch y'all later. As y'all see. Over here on the stationary bike. I don't know what this thing is called because not the one where you would be like, I mean, arms. I don't think I, let me see. Can I get closer? I don't know if I can see those numbers, but I gotta get back to where I was. It's been a while. I'm already tired. But, this is one of the machines I use, so. Here's the other one I was trying to show y'all. That's the one with the big feet. Elliptical, I think it's called. But, there's the time I go upstairs and use the weights. And there's the truck over there. People working out in the middle. I think I'm about to take a break from the bike and go walk or something. <laughs> so I decided to come walk. Sorry. I decided to come walk on the track to stretch my legs. And I swear, they always be playing some good music, these people working out in the middle but yeah I am um, I don't understand how they don't trip when they run on this slanted track over here it's like I don't know cuz <laughs> these tracks the the floor I'm walking on is perfectly like flat but the the track is like curved let me see if I can show y'all yeah y'all see that it's like curved and I don't understand <laughs> how they walk on that thing but am I the only one who's like OCD I guess you would call it whatever who likes to count the laps they take like I could just be walking uh, I don't know I just always gotta count the laps um, but yeah I always gotta count the laps that I take but I think I will get up off of here because I don't like doing this in public. People probably be looking at me like I'm crazy. So, but I'm trying to get better at blogging. So I need to get used to it, I guess. But I'ma get up over here and show y'all the other machine I use in a little bit. All right, see y'all. So I will try to show y'all this workout on this like elliptical, but. I can't because the camera angle sucks and I don't have anybody to hold it so I'll just do it and I'll show you the machine when I'm done. So I'll uh, catch you guys tomorrow.
watch out when I'm dead. Breathe in like a fat person or something. But yeah, see so this is the machine I used over there. But uh, I think I might go to the weights. I don't know. So I'm back on the bike, but I don't think uh, y'all be able to see me using it. So again, sorry, because I don't have nobody here to record me. Um, but uh, I don't know if I go to the wait today. If I do, I won't be able to record up there because there's more people up there, and I don't want to sit my phone down. <sighs> sorry, too far away from me. So I'll show you out of room, but I won't be able to record. So I'm upstairs now and I'm tired. My heart's racing, but I'm back to go in the weight room and attempt to lift some weights. Nothing heavy, just threes and fives, but um, so I'll try and show y'all the weight room when I get in there. Usually it's hit or miss with me because there's no dot on the number five or anything to indicate which way the numbers go. So usually somebody has to let me in. But uh, I'll catch you later. So over there is the weights I use. I use the ones way on the top far left and those are the three pounders and then sometimes I use five pounds. Um, I hang my stuff up there and just sit in this corner or stand in this corner and surprisingly they don't have music playing but this is what the room looks like. There's that. Um, I don't know. I think I'm done for the day, but we'll see. So, heading back downstairs. Oh, I've never seen that room light before. And I think I'm gonna walk the track, but yeah, I think I'm gonna walk the track and listen to my book. And then I might head back into the lobby to read. So, um, I'm wrapping up the vlog here. I recorded a lot. Um, but I didn't want to leave you guys without telling y'all. I guess all is well uh, with me and my friend. Um, <coughs> uh, I was going to go to Chicago. Uh, plans change, so I'll catch you at another time, but I'll definitely be in Chicago next weekend for the 4th of July weekend, um, but I hope y'all enjoy this vlog and this be up after a really cool video, so make sure y'all go check out the So So Summer Tour video that I posted and let